I really don't feel like editing this video, so let's get right into it. I just made, I just got done making a YouTube banner template that you can customize easily. You don't need to download anything. It's completely free. You just go to a website, you put in your text, you export, boom, you have a brand new cool looking YouTube banner. Let me show you. Step one, open your favorite web browser, Safari, Opera, Chrome, Firefox, whatever you want. Go to photopia.com, okay, photopia, it's written like that, pronounced photop, but I like saying photopia. It's gonna bring you here, and then you're gonna click on PSD templates, because that's what I'm trying to communicate here, a PSD template. Go to the search bar and type my name, or you can just type, you know, YouTube banner or whatever. And you're gonna see right here, I just posted this brand new lightning, that's the name of it. You click on it once, it's gonna show it to you, okay, cool, blah, blah, blah. You can click on the link right there. It's gonna open up a new tab with the actual template. So if you don't know about Photopea, it's basically Photoshop for free. So this is what the banner looks like. As you can see, it says your name, but you can easily change that. I'm gonna go through every single layer you see here so I can explain how easily it is to actually change it. There are two ones that are colored. As you can see, there's photo and then there's text. Photo has to do with the photo of the character. Text has to do with the text, exactly. Okay, so the top, top layer is hue and saturation. And if you turn it on, it's probably gonna just change the color. If you click on the icon right next to it, double click, it should give you those options. Usually you play around with the hue and boom, you can change the color. Depending on what character you add, this might be a little different, but there you go. Next layer is gonna be the shape one, and it's basically those things that are covering. You don't have to have those parts for YouTube. Basically, the most visible part is gonna be in the middle here. Photo filter is um, something that is gonna be applied to the photo folder. And if you click on the little arrow, you're gonna see our character is in there. That means that you can turn it off by clicking on the eye, and you can put whatever you want in there. You don't play Rainbow Six Siege. This is what this character is from. Uh, you can put a Valorant character, for example, right? Drag, drop, make sure it's in the folder and I can just drag it. Boom, of course, you wanna size it up a little bit. I'm holding Alt while dragging the corners and then press Enter. Now you can turn off the other one and here's your favorite Valorant character, whoever this is, I don't play Valorant or you play Fortnite, you can drag a character from Fortnite. Just make sure that it's inside of the group that says photo, and then you're good to go. As you can see, it has all the effects that comes with it, and uh, boom. There's a lot of layers, so it's a little slow. Press enter, you're Gucci. Okay, now let's collapse this group that says photo. Layer three is just the grungy texture that's on the text. If you don't want that, you can turn it off. And then we have text. I'm gonna click on the group, the little arrow next to the group, and it's like inside two folders just so I can add a bunch of effects. But you can double click, and then um, that's the text. You can put whatever you want. Right, and then just export it. I don't know why I wrote this uh, lowercase. You can always hover your mouse a little bit away from the text and then drag it to make it fit. I should have made this centered, but it doesn't matter. Basically, do whatever you want with the text. It's right there. And once you're done, all you have to do is click File, Export As, PNG, click Save, and save it wherever you want. There you go, brand new YouTube banner. Go to your YouTube channel, upload it. You're gonna see all the way at the bottom. Let me collapse this. Uh, there's also background. You can turn off the background. You're gonna see all the different elements. If you don't like the hexagons, you can turn those off. You can turn off the lightning. You can turn off the little pluses. But also I have a guide here at the bottom, all the way at the bottom layer one. If I drag and drop, basically this is the template to make a YouTube banner. So if you wanna completely change this, you already have the template, you know where things are supposed to go. Or let's say like if your text doesn't fit properly or anything like that, use this as a guide. All right, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Go to photopia.com, go to PSD templates, type my name in the search bar, enjoy. Make sure you subscribe if you wanna see more free templates added to Photopia's library. And I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, get level out.